Hey team, so today we're going to do a quick little video on tooling selection and why I use certain tooling over others. The premise of this is in YouTube or Instagram on one of my last videos, I got a, a comment that asked, why do I use WNMG over CNMG? So that's what we're going to get into today. WNMG here, six-sided insert. This is a CNMG here, four edges. I'm going to show some preliminary information right away in a second here, give you a little basis of what we're going to run down, and then I'm going to go into actually why I use the inserts that I use for turning. So this is the sheet that I've used for years, or one similar to it, where it tells you what every number and letter means in the insert designation or nomenclature, CNMG 432, for example. Shape, clearance, inscribe circle, corner, etc. Find one, print it out, keep it in your box, or keep it as a training tool for people that you're trying to show. How about machining, about what we do? It's a great thing to have, even if you know a lot or you're just learning. This is a picture of a CNMG, one of the inserts in question of this video. CNMG looks to be a 432. And this is a WNMG 431. So now that you saw that information, what I, when I first started in the world of machining as a beginner, I would see a lot of stuff like that online, but I, we didn't have cell phones, so I printed out and put it in my toolbox. Now with the advent of cell phones, you should either go to littlemachineshop.com, get that insert sheet, or screenshot, go back in the video and screenshot what I put there, even if you have extensive knowledge, it's good to have that. I like to use it to pass it on to other people that are trying to learn. And if you are in the steps of trying to learn machining, it's good to have that. Save it as a photo on your phone. The type of insert, edges, all the ins cutting, turning insert nomenclature is found on there. And that's standard between Iskar, Sandvik, Kenna Metal, Seiko, so on and so forth. It's just a good bit of information to have. So now that we covered that, the reason that I like to use WNMG over CNMG is very simple. It's six edges. Now, there could be an argument made, and I would agree, that a CNMG is a stronger geometry, stronger cutting edge for more aggressive rough turning. I don't know if my experience says that exactly, but a lot of people that I know So back to what we were saying in a little blooper there. I don't know if my experience would say that a CNMG is stronger than a WNMG. There's a lot of people I know that, that I respect that use a CNMG and say that. I will take their experience and their opinion to heart and say yes. There's probably some good info and anecdotal reasons to believe a CNMG is a stronger insert than a W. But... The reason that we like them is because it's six cutting edges. And the price difference between the two isn't really that much from what I can tell. So when you're paying cost per edge, when we buy inserts, that's what we look at. What's our cost per edge? We notice that we get a little bit more bang for our buck from a WNMG. Plus there's the same chip breakers, the same type of inserts, the same coding, same uses from a CNMG to a WNMG. So for that simple reason, I like to use a WNMG over a CNMG. I get two more cutting edges per insert. I know there's going to be a lot of people that will say, oh, no, I use a CNMG for this reason or for that reason. I'd love to hear it. What do you prefer, WNMG or CNMG? What do you use for your rough and finish turning on a lathe? Short, simple little video on why I like to use a WNMG, CNMG versus a CNMG. And then there is also some information that you can keep and take with you if you're just starting to learn. Like that sheet from littlemachineshop.com. Thanks for watching.